Hello everyone. How are you feeling today? I am so happy that you chose to come to Sunday School today and it is just lovely to have you here. Bagel is back with us and he is learning a lot at Sunday School so he is very glad that you guys are letting him come to class too. That's one good thing about online Sunday School. Our pets can come along. Today we are going to be talking about a group of men called the Magi. You might also know them as um, the wise men. And I think the best way to start talking about the wise men or the Magi is to just read a story about them. Let's get our Bible out. I have mine right here and I will show you the pictures. I love the illustrations here. You can see so many beautiful colors in their robes and their head scarves. Look at that. They look so beautiful. In a faraway place, there were magi who spent their time watching the stars. One, day, one night, they noticed a very special star in the sky. It was very bright and seemed to be moving ahead of them. The magi thought that this special star would lead them to a new king. They wanted to bring special gifts to the new king. They packed frankincense, gold, and myrrh, gifts fit for a king, and they set out following the star. The Magi arrived in Bethlehem, following the special star until it stopped over a little house. When the Magi entered the house, they met the new king, Jesus, and his mom, Mary. The Magi knelt down and offered Jesus their gifts. Thank you for listening to that story with me. We are going to be talking about the word include. Do any of you guys know what the word include means? When we talk about it at Sunday school, the word include means to welcome all of God's children in God's love. God wants us to include everyone in our community. Bagel can come to Sunday school even though he's just a cat. The Magi didn't know Jesus, but they included him in their love and community by welcoming them with special gifts. Let's watch a video together that talks a little bit more about how the Magi were included in God's love. Let me share my screen with you so we can watch the video together. There. Greetings, friends. I'm Carly. Today's story is about the Magi that went to see Jesus and honor him. Another name for the Magi is the Wise Men. The Magi followed the East Star and found Jesus. But the Magi didn't just come to see Jesus, they also brought him gifts. They brought him gold, frankincense, and myrrh. These certainly are not normal gifts for a baby. They're not toys or new blankets. The Magi knew that Jesus was special and they wanted to honor him with the best gifts they could think of. The Magi were not people you'd expect to come visit a baby, but God wanted to include them in the story. God wants to include all of us in God's story. To include means to welcome all of God's children in God's love. God sets the example for us by sharing the news of Jesus' birth with people from all different places, like the shepherds and the Magi. Wait. I just realized something. You and I are also part of the story because we're told about the amazing story of Jesus' birth. Of course, we don't need to bring gold, frankincense, and myrrh. I don't even know what all of those things are. But we can do things that honor Jesus and we can share God's story. Like the Magi, we all come from different places and we also have unique gifts to offer. Regardless of who we are, we are all included in God's story. I am so happy to be included, aren't you? Now, it's your turn to wonder. All right. Thank you guys for watching that video with me. I'll be right back. When Bagel feels left out, he yells. And it's been quite the deterrent in filming these Sunday School videos but now he's here and he'll stop screaming and we can keep going. <laughs> okay.
The word include helps us remember that God's love is for everyone. One way that I think that we can remind ourselves to remember that God's love is for everyone is to look at our hands. Look at your hand and spread out your fingers wide. Spread them out. The fingers spread out kind of make your hand look like a star. You can even wiggle, wiggle, wiggle your fingers and look like a twinkling star. I want you to touch each of your fingers and repeat after me. I will include blank in God's love. You can say whoever you want when you touch your fingers. Maybe you have a friend who is feeling sad and you want to remember to be extra kind to them. Or maybe your adult cooked you a delicious breakfast and you are feeling very thankful. When we name people on our fingers, we are, rem we are reminding ourselves that everyone is included in God's love and that we can help spread that joy. There is only one rule. Your first finger has to be about you. When we look at our twinkly star hand, I want you to look, point at your thumb and say, I will include myself in God's love. All right, pull out your twinkle hand, your star, look at your thumb and say, I will include myself in God's love. And we can even fill out our whole twinkle star. And I'll go first to give you an example. I will include myself in God's love. I will include my parents in God's love. I will include my brothers in God's love. I will include my neighbors in God's love. And I will include every single person who's watching this video and at Sunday school with me, I will include them in God's love. Remember guys, you can do this whenever you want to feel warm and included. So let's twinkle our star hands together one last time. Wiggle your fingers, get all of your energy out, and then quiet your fingers into prayer hands. All right, close your eyes, repeat after me, or just listen. God, help me to include everyone in God's love. Amen. Thank you guys so much for being here with me today. And I hope you have an absolutely wonderful rest of your Sunday. And I hope to see you again very, very soon. Bye.